live TV at Training Center, local 837, Nick Ciccone, the man who's, you know what, he go all over this place, he knows everything. So in this event today, what is the event about? So today we have our second annual contractor appreciation open house, where we invited all our signatory contractors, uh, some vendors like Milwaukee, DeWalt, uh, some of our health and safety providers, and we just show our appreciation to our contractors uh, for what they do for the community and for our members. If you're interested in the trades, come and see us at Leonel Lookway 37. Nick, thank you so much. Thank what you. a pleasure. Thanks for the interview. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure to work with you guys. Stay tuned. Go Live TV. We'll be back soon. There's a lot of work out there and even more to come. So we look forward to more growth at Local 837. Our success is the result of hard work done by every day by our organizers, representatives, and staff. Leuna is a great union and it is like no other. It's thanks to the strong leadership of Canadian Director, International Vice President, Joseph Mencinelli. There is nothing more important right now in our organization, in the province of Ontario, and across Canada, to ensure that we increase the amount of construction workers that we need in, in, uh, in our country. And so I encourage young people um, like yourselves to go out and get your friends interested as well in the construction industry because it's a great career. And the amount of work that we have right now that will continue into the next decade or two um, will provide a generational amount of work for yourselves uh, and to retire into to the construction industry. Joe mentioned the budget that we would have spent so much in previous years. Did we build the hospitals? Did we build the schools? Did we build the public transit we need, the highways, the roads? We're still so busy tripping over ourselves saying we don't need highways. Well, we're here to say we do, and we need you. You're the men and women that are gonna build them. It's about inspiring a next generation. And so not only have we invested 100 million in the Skills Development Fund that helps invest in the equipment. The equipment that you see uh, right to my left here, um, and, and the training that we need to inspire a next generation, but keeping people safe. Uh, OEAP, uh, inspiring young youth, Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, trades, Tackling a stigma for youth. John, what amazing to see you guys getting prepared over here. It's a nice to know that is a, a man behind the scene calculating and make sure the workers end of the day they go home safe and because they have a family, you know, and they need another day to continue his, his life. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm an owner of Vertical Access Solutions. We've been signatory with Lena since 2018. Um, we provide rope access, technicians and access to different various sectors. Some of the big projects we've been on with Leena was the OPG coal demolition plants at Nanakoke and Lambton where we had six, 16 plus technicians for a year eliminating the need for scaffolding with rope access being a different approach where you access high unreachable areas safely with ropes and provide asbestos removal demolition assistance but we also do high-rise buildings, on-site rescue, confined space rescue and a lot more. It's a fantastic opportunity. We definitely appreciate 837. Like I said, we've been signed to them for a long time. They've allowed us to come in and do trainings for their apprentice days and stuff before. But when we heard about this event, they were more than keen to get us in here and showcase and definitely showcase to other members of Leena how we could benefit them on their sites as well. So. Hello, this is Bill, the director of Zavcar Training Academy. We're inside of our mobile trailer right now. This is actually usually set up as a classroom. But when we're doing the, the VR stuff, we set it up as a VR training area. TJ is right now doing a pre-trip on a truck. The front screen shows the pre-trip that he's doing. This brings you into a real world. When we're, when we're training at Zavcar, everything is hands-on first. It's what we're supposed to do. We're actually at the truck. With doing it with virtual reality, the virtual reality is just a small part of what we do to extend our training. 
Our main training is in the tractor trailer, trucking industry, along with heavy equipment. We offer several different courses, uh, AZ, a large course, a small course. The best way to get a hold of us is at trainingacademy at zavcor.com, or you can actually call my cell 289-228-4900. How do you feel to, to come today at, into this uh, uh, state of art, the, the training center of the Leona 837, and see what the labor is being doing? You're a friend of labor. Of course, you a know, big and friend. A big friend, right? Absolutely. I mean, I feel the power here and the connection between employers and workers. And it's so nice to see the workforce valuing those employers, those employers that are putting safety first, that are putting training first, and empowering the next generation. I mean. I met some young guys here, they're buying their first home, their car. Yes. That's what uh, this family here is offering and, and we're incredibly supportive of the great work being done to train. We gotta keep building. And as long as we're in power and government here, we're building a stronger Ontario, roads, highways, subways, homes, hospitals and schools that we need. But those are just buildings. It's you who bring them to life, the people who build them. And we're gonna keep investing under Premier Ford, uh, his leadership, and we just can't thank the workers who are getting this job done. It's a pleasure every time I walk into this place and I see such a beautiful environment. And today is a very special day. You have over here the Minister of Labor. Right. So what is your feeling? Well, you know, it's, a, it's an event to open up to all our contractors, to show what we have to offer in health and safety, hands-on training, that kind of thing. And to have the uh, Minister of Labor here, it definitely um, shows the contractors yes. that we mean what we're doing and that we have the support of the government. So I'm proud to say that uh, we're uh, able to be able to bring ministers here that help us in uh, delivering the training that we do. So, you know, you always have to have uh, the government funding to help in, in this kind of uh, training. So, yeah, all good. Yeah. But uh, we'll make it make do. We're uh, expanding our uh, training center in Cambridge. Oh, uh, so we're looking at for getting some funding from the government in regards to that. So we're going to be expanding another 40,000 square feet up there because Kitchener Waterloo is another very big area that's expanding that we represent. Right. So with the, with the home building and the industrial space expanding, uh, they're talking about extending the LRT. So we're going to be needing a lot more uh, workers because we have a lot of our workers that are looking at retiring too. So we definitely have to bring in new blood, new pre-apprentices to start to fill in that void of uh, some of our uh, key employees, their key, key members that are starting to retire. Wow, amazing Ricardo. Thank you so much for this interview. Leona, feel the power, local 837. <laughs>